What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Shauna and I am a recovering addict. I have been sober since September 27th of 2016 and today I just want to play in some new makeup that I got. Um, went to TJ Maxx yesterday and I finally got my ColourPop order so I have a couple of things from there. So let's just play and test out some new makeup and get some first impressions. So my ColourPop order came in like I said and I did pick up the Sweet Talk palette. This is the unit carton and on the back it has the shade names and then you open up the top here and the packaging of the palette is the exact same and it does come with one of those plastic covers but that is the color story. When this palette first came out, I fell in love. It's so romantic. It's so spring. Oh, it's just, it's a really pretty palette. And I love that they put these pressed glitters in here. And I think they said this shade, I think this shade is a super shock shadow. They managed to be able to put it in the palette and not have it be its own, um, like the single super shock shadow. So to start, I'm going to go in with this shade here, which is Dream Maker. And I want to put that in my crease, blow it out a bit, and just use it as a transition shade. Um, the downside of this palette is it does not have a mirror, if that's something that matters to you. That shade, Dream Maker, is picking up nicely on the brush. Focus, please. There we go. And this is my Morphe M330. I'm just going to put it in the crease. Oh, she's pigmented. It is very, very pink. Um, yeah, it's enough pink on camera too. And it looks very coral in the pan. There's nothing wrong with that. I don't mind. Um, I didn't know how this palette would work with me anyway because I'm so fair and kind of pinky corally. So I'm kind of glad it has a little bit more pigment than I thought it would. Probably not going to do anything too special today, just like an everyday eye look. Um, I think the palette is more of like an everyday palette anyway. I don't think it's the most artistic thing on the planet, but it is, I don't know, it's just very romantic and very, I don't know, I look at this palette and it just, it makes me happy. When I saw it, it made me happy. It makes me happy in person. I just, I love it. So now that that's done, let's go ahead and deepen up the crease a bit. I'm going to go in with ICYMI in case you missed it. There is no fallout with either of these shadows in the pan. And I'm just going to pop that right on the crease. And get it buffed in there and then I will blend it out when I'm done. I'm just going to blend that out with my Morphe M507 which is just a tapered mini blending brush. Okay, um, it kind of disappeared on me a bit. Um, you can see a little bit of a difference, but just looking in my mirror, it, it doesn't look like it did much. So I'm going to go back into the crease with this shade Feel Free. And this time I'm going to use my Morphe M431, which is like a pencil style brush. All right, and going back in with that same mini crease brush, I'm going to blend that. feel like it's the problem is, is my eyes are becoming very like deep set because I'm getting old and so I'd have to like blow it out a bit to see that it's deep at least what I can see in the mirror I, it may look different on camera um but anyway let's move on um just to smooth out this pinky shade up here I'm gonna take this Morphe M433 blending brush and 
I am going to dip into Catch Me, which is the lightest shade in the palette. I'm just going to buff that up top just to clean up the, any of the rough edges that's up there. And even though it matches my skin tone, I can see how it's cleaned that shade up. That actually added a really nice dimension to the look. Now I feel like I can see the deepening up shade a little bit better. So that's really, really pretty. I do want to make sure to try a glitter and a shimmer and the super shock shadow. So I am going to go in with this shimmer here called Melody. And I am just going to pop that on the outer corner. I'm not going to clean up my crease today. I'm feeling a little lazy. Not going to lie. Okay, this one swatched. It looks very just like kind of bronzy, goldish color. Um, but when it's on my finger, I don't know if you'll able to see it. Yeah, you can. So there's like a little bit of a pinky red in there with the gold. Almost like a fiery color. I really like that. So let's pop that right here. And then I think for the glitter... I'm going to go in with this, that's cute, Prima Drama. And we'll see if it needs a glue, but from what I understand, it shouldn't. I don't think it will. There it is. And again, on my finger, there is a little bit of a, um, it's a rose gold, like, more on the gold side than the rose gold and then some iridescent so it makes it have that fiery color and I'm just going to pop that on the first half of the lid. Okay and that's with no glitter glue so that's pretty good. Um, I do want to try out the Super Shock and I'm going to put that on the inner corner highlight and then my brow bone and this is in the shade side to side and I know the super shocks they don't really work well with a brush so I'm just gonna dot like dot it on the inner corner and this one swatched looks just like champagne in the pan but there is like a beautiful pinky reflect to it so we'll see if it shows up anything it's a pretty highlight shade. I'm going to take my Morphe M213 and use the shade Feel Free which is the darkest shade in the palette and just get it right against that waterline and into the lash line. Okay, then I'm going to take this Color Revolution brush and I'm going to dip into the shade in case you missed it. And just put that into that darker shade. Just to give the look a little bit more dimension, I am going to go in with the Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil in Whatever Black. And I'm just going to um, get really, really tight on, I guess they call it tight lining, but the upper lash line. Okay, I will do some swatches for you guys now. Um, the palette does retail for $18 and you get 12 shades. So it's a pretty good deal, and you know ColourPop is always having a sale. So um, I'm not going to prime my arm to do them. I'll just do them dry, and we can get an idea. I mean, I wore a good chunk of the colors on my face, but just for the ones that we didn't do, you can see what it looks like. So this is Catch Me which obviously matches my skin tone pretty well. That's the one I use to clean up the pinky shade. This is the Super Shock side to side. Can you see that shift in there? Yeah, I think it's picking up. Um, this is a shimmer called Garden Date that also has like an orange, orangey shift to it. I don't know if it's picking up. And then this is a matte called Work It, kind of like a mustardy brown. Right, next we have the first glitter called Prima Drama. 
which went on pretty well for it being a swatch. You can see that shift in there, I hope. Next is a matte called Meadow. And then we have the other glitter called Early Morning. That is a more of a true gold with some like green and red reflex in it. It is really good on my finger. If you want to see that? And then there's the other one. And then this is a matte called Dream Maker, which is the transition shade that I used. All right, for the final row, in case you missed it, which is a matte, Melody is a shimmer, West Side is a matte, and feel free is a matte. It's like a bad swatch, but oh well. These are the Kiss Lash Couture Triple Push Up Collection. Um, I guess it has like three designs in one, which you can kind of see that it's layered. I am going to pop off camera and put them on because that's just embarrassing because I'm not the best at lashes. So I will be right back and then we will finish up the rest of the face. Okay guys, I'm back. I have the Kiss Lashes on. Um, this one is on a little weird, you can probably tell, but I actually really, really like them and I got them at TJ Maxx for like $3.99. Can't beat that price. So, moving on to the face. I don't normally prime when I film at night, but my skin is so dry from being at the beach. I'm going to go in with the Too Faced Hangover Primer. Since I have a bit of a tan, I am going to go in with my Clinique. Does anyone else prefer to do their foundation with a brush? When I first started doing this, I was like all about a sponge because that's what all the beauty gurus were using. But I don't know. I just, maybe it's because I've never used the actual beauty blender. But whenever I use a sponge, it shears out my product so much and we know how I feel about wasting product that I'm like what is the point at least with this I feel like I can gauge a little bit better what I need so for concealer I am going to go in with the Too Faced Born This Way concealer in the shade Swan and I've used a couple of sponges. I've used an Ulta sponge. I've used a Real Technique sponge, which I hate if you saw my last, last video or two videos ago. In all honesty, this is what I use a sponge for. And that is about it. Just to get in my inner corner up here. You know what, just for fun, I have a fun uh, concealer brush here. So let's try. <laughs> For setting powder, I am going to use the Cover FX. Alright, next I am going to do my contouring. I'm going to go in with the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. I am in the shade Milk Chocolate. For bronzer, I am going to use the Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer in Ticket to Brazil. I feel like this look above most of them that I do definitely requires blush because it's so pinky. So I am going to take the Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush in the shade Party.
And for highlight, I did pick up at TJ Maxx the Anastasia Beverly Hills Moonchild Glow Kit. Very excited. I've wanted this for a very long time. It is originally $40 and it was at TJ Maxx for $19.99. So if you can find it at your TJ Maxx, definitely pick it up. And here is the color story. Um, we have Blue Ice, Star, Purple Horseshoe, Pink Heart, Lucky Clover, and Blue Moon. I think for today's look, I am going to go in with Pink Heart just because we're having a very pink moment. <laughs> Actually very pink I don't know if it's coming up on camera that way but the shift is very pink it's really cute I like it and a little bit more there so with my morphe m532 I'm gonna go in my nose a little bit more look how pink that is which is crazy because in the pan it does not look pink at all okay so last we have just a lipstick. Um, I bought these Anastasia Beverly Hills Trio um, when I, they had their stick foundation on sale, which I was going to do a review and I never got to, but I have used it a couple of times. This is really, really, really good. And they had a bunch of these at TJ Maxx. I didn't get mine at TJ Maxx, but they did have some when I was there yesterday. So definitely something to look into. Um, if you want a shade match to me, I am in the shade Porcelain. Um, I really, really liked it. So I'm hoping their new foundation, which I've yet to try, is similar to that in terms of the finish. It was really, really good. Um, let me know in the comments down below. I have a Wet n Wild foundation stick. Would you guys want me to um, test both of them, like do half my face with the Anastasia and half with the Wet n Wild. Let me know in the comments down below. Okay, so these are the colors for the trio that I got. We have Dazed, which is this reddish one, Bittersweet, which is the chocolatey brown, and then Hudson, which is like a pinky brown. Let's try the pinky one. Okay, so I've never used an Anastasia Beverly Hills lipstick before. The wands on these are the flat kind, not an angled doe foot which actually I thought I wouldn't like, but I actually did. I was able to like outline in a way really, really well. Um, these dry really, really fast, which I actually appreciate because sometimes, you know, you want to put a gloss on and it's like, oh, shit, I have to wait forever. This dries really, really fast. Um, it is a little dark for the look that we're going for today, but that is okay. Um, it feels fine. It doesn't feel heavy. It doesn't feel very drying. Wow, this dries better than... I hate to say it, but this dries down better than Jeffree Star lipsticks. And it feels... Like when I push my lips together, it feels almost like velvet. It hey guys, that is the final look. Let me know in the comments down below what you thought of the products I used. Do you plan on picking anything up because of this video? Um, I'm really, really impressed with the lipsticks. Uh, like, really, really impressed. I appreciate how fast it dried down. It's really, really comfortable. Um, God, I cannot get over that feeling. It feels, if you ever pick one up and you do that, let me know because it feels really cool. Um, I do have to say that the star of the show probably is this Sweet Talk palette. Again, $18 at ColourPop. Highly, highly recommend. This shade is a bit dry, but it still works. And then these two kind of blend in to be the same color. But I actually have no 
big complaints about this palette. Um, and I really like this Super Shock formula here. Um, if you can get this at TJ Maxx and you are of a lighter skin tone, really, really recommend. I think there's like one shade or two, maybe two that darker skin tones could use. Um, but it is pretty pale friendly, I guess. Um, but yeah, this is really, really cute and I got it for $20. So I'm very excited about that. Really like the lipsticks. Like I said, these mermaid brushes I have used in a previous video, but I didn't use all of them. So I tried out some new ones today. Really like those. Um, the lashes. I really like the band on these. They're not a flimsy band, but it's not so stiff that you can't move it. Once it's trimmed and where you need it to be, it just popped right on and it just sealed itself to my eye. So really, really like these. Plus, I'm a fan of this style. Um, yeah, so that is it for the video. I hope you enjoyed getting ready with me and enjoyed looking at all these new products that I've been playing with. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. As always, please make sure to like and subscribe and hit the bell notification so you can be notified every time I upload a new video. And do make sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook at Recovered Feminist. Um, that is about it, guys. I love you, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!